Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, in our post 5.3 one, where yeah, we stand here in Middle Anosea, in Limsalo close to Limsalominsa, and Sterwin has our next quest. Pains me to say, but all the guild in the world can't buy loyalty. There are some, like you, who can be trusted. But then there are others. Until now, I have no choice but to rely on that charlatan Severin, even though I'm fully aware he's been doing shady deals behind my back. More than once I've heard tell of improper dealings with goblins. I wouldn't be the least surprised if it were happening right now. Not a bell ago, a sack of oranges vanished as did Severin. I want you to find and have confront the bastard for me, Agate. I'm sure there's wrongdoings afoot, so I'll be sure to doubt anything that comes out of his mouth. Just a bit south of town, or yeah, what? What is it? For the farm? Bloody hell, I'm up the straight without a paddle. Hey, what what are you doing here? What's going on, huh? What's this now? Sturvin sent you for the oranges? Ah, oh, so the old bugger had known all this time. What does it matter anyway? Listen, you're one of those goody goody adventurer types, right? The rest can be made from those double dealing goblins. They're just over yonder by the bonfire. Save the henchmen. Thank you. Seven cent, yeah. <laughs> the way he flew out of here, I was sure he sold up down the river. If you hadn't come, my daughter would have been cooked. Mm, cooked daughter. I owe you one. Would have gotten away me seven, not for seven shoving me aside. You're safe, me mates, and for that, I owe you. Suppose I should be ashamed I couldn't clean up my own mess. But a pirate knows no shame. I have no qualms about getting back on my word. I've only... I'm only giving you this sack, cause I like the, the cut of your jib. Take it to Ossine and send him my regards. What have we here? A delivery from some of our farms and a scheduled? Ha! <laughs> That's the first time for everything. <laughs> well, look at that. Not a single one missing either. About the only thing not here are those Backmen. I don't miss them one bit. Here, Sterling's payment full. With you, I can trust it'll reach him. Back in one piece? That's a relief. How did you fare, Agit? Here's your money. Ha, huh, this is what I was aiming for. Looks to be all I was owed, all right. Why well, be telling you false if I claimed I had not held out more hope for Severin? I was even willing to overlook the skimming off the top. But to sell us all sh short in favor of those godforsaken goblins? Uh, you do well to mind yourself around that two guild cheat. If he'd leave his own mates for that, there's no telling what he'd do to you. Suddenly, you have a quest, huh? Hmm? 
Blast! At this rate, the crops will never be ready for harvest. If only we had black loam, just a bit could send our stalks sowing. Albert Rodvida knows where you might find some. Perhaps you might pay her a visit in the orchard? That girl can't got a head of cabbage if he thinks I'm fetching him any blood loam. But if you dare to pinch some from the cook pot, you'll be my guest. Just mind you don't get trampled under the ore rocks that dwell there. Once you have three bushels worth, take the black loam to Preval at Tiller's Rest. He'll know what to do. And here are the ore rocks. And this strange uh, rock formation is a cook pot. So harvest uh, black loam. Meaning the shit of these creatures. Oh yeah, this, this symbol here over the um, creatures means they are in my hunting list. When you uh, do the first the first job quest for your first job, you get a hunting lock unlocked. And there is for every job you take, well, every base AR, a realm reborn job, a, s a set of targets you can hunt to gain a bit of extra experience. This was later abandoned for uh, daily and w weekly hunts. And with a bit of experience from the hunt just now, I reach level 10 and my tank stuns. Also, my first AoE attack overpower. Which is a cone in front of me. Ah, oh, even the weeds wither and die in this desolate dirt. Quite literally, a steaming sack of shite. <laughs> but a bit of his black lamb ought to change all that. I haven't seen any in ages. <laughs> Gather on black lamb's not for the weak of will, not for the weak of stomach, eh? <laughs> Oh, don't tell me girl can undo what we have neglected to mention where black loam comes from. Well, surely you figured it out on your own from the clawing stench. It comes from the Oryx lair of all places. Um, well, why dwell on who misled whom about what? What matters is that your efforts have brought us the black loam and we can expect a bountiful harvest as a result. Thank you. Confounded pirates, they know nothing of tilling, only killing. Stealing our shovels to melt and forge into axes, of all things. They're biting the hands with feet from the mangy mongrels. I'd love to teach what's cause a lesson in obedience myself, if I hadn't sworn to Stilwen that I wouldn't fight no more. So I need you to bring back our farming tools and make sure those stocks reap what they've sown. Gauge or so this, this, this thing right now. Oh, it's not a gauge yet, that comes later. For now, it's just an, a marker whether you have a tank stand active or not. the captain captain p 
pigeon tool. I wonder what our sea dogs will tr try and steal and there is no harvest. Um, hopefully not your tools again. Ah, good to see the tools back and in service of the condition, which will be more than we can say of several when we get our hands on him. But Wesh likely had a role in the theft. Despite a meeting with pirates in secret I did, I couldn't care less if the rest will, won't work. But when he consorts with cut purses that take our tools away, he crossed the line. The Sturmwind ought to know what sort of scalawag he's dealing with. Take word to him, would you? You. Pirates making off of our tools? Farewell did well not to take matters into his own hand. The last thing I need is blood on my crops. But I'll be damned if seven thinks he can take us for fools. His treachery won't go unpunished. I come to expect a great deal from you, lad, and you've never once let me down. Yet what I'd ask of you now goes beyond aught I've asked before. Would you hear my plea all the same? It eases my mind to have your ear. You're not all familiar with a scoundrel seven by now? Well, the scheming skate great is is added again. Since that letter came for him, he's been skulking about in that manner he does when he's up to no good. Now he's wandered up his rogues and buggered off with nary a word to anyone. I've grown accustomed to his insolence, but something tells me this is different. It ain't exactly damning, but when last I had words with him, he didn't look defiant so much as hunted. I can't help thinking he's gone looking for trouble and found more when he wanted. So I was hoping you might hunt this sorry hide down and drag it back here before it's too late. The ungrateful little cur bites me every chance he gets, but I can't bring myself to cut him loose. I suppose he reminds me a bit of my younger self. Suffice it to say, I'd rather he didn't come to a sticky end. As for how to find him, I try asking Grin Reader at the Everite. She's the last one to see him. I dare say she'll be able to tell you where he was headed. Now, I think there was uh, a bit ago a bit a change. I think originally the quest that Skelvin had and Gurkant had were parallel quests. You could take them at the same time and you had to do both to continue. Queen me down. Nothing pa that passes through those gates escapes my notice. I saw the Rouser and his rebels set out for Walt Whisper Canyon not long ago. Seeing about drinking themselves stupider, cheeky sot said I should join them. I told them I'd rather shrivel up than sip whatever it was that had pickled their brains. If you find the idle swine, be sure and give them a cuff round the ear for me, will ya? If you follow the road out of Summerford Farms, a bit to the northwest along the road, you come to this construction here. And there, when you go down, um, first you meet Alma, but down there is this is the road to Road Whisper Canyon. Of all the dirty, deceitful, downright dastardly deeds that slip every bastard's done. Claiming to take the lads out for a drink, only to just straight into a bloody trap. It don't get no lower than that. Because I've learned to ste uh, step ahead of all the seven. So I was ready, but the others weren't so lucky. You got to help them.
sell you. My ex may as well be a white flag for all the good it did. Hope you fare better, or the soy bastards in there are done for. Seven might have got us into this mess, but I ain't about to let him give his life for us. I'd sooner bow to a fish bag and then be in that conniving bastard's death. Two arms! A true knave. You'd betray even yourself, Severin. We were prepared to overlook the matter of the desertion of the condition that you proved us with suitable replacement. That was the agreement. Yet your latest change of heart leaves your debt to us unpaid. Few are they who betray the serpent who us twice. You will not do so a third time. Cowering behind your protector will only delay the inevitable. Honorless wretch, your life is all you have left. And worthless will it be, we shall take it. O oh, mournful boys of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command, that I might smite mine enemies. Up and we escape and defeat the clay golem. You're strong, but are you strong enough to withstand this? Gun. Ah, the snake slivered away. I'm only glad he did not have a chance to sink his fangs more deeply into you. Those pirates do not belong to any of the known Lemons factions. But whom do they serve? For bee stripes? Surely not. But the timing of their appearance coincides all too neatly with a recent search in Sargin and Cobalt activity. Something's afoot. The question is what? Could it be that the tribes are planning to summon their primals? Twelve help us as it if it should prove so. Limsa would be hard pressed to keep a single primal at bay, let alone two. But all is yet speculation. I must needs find evidence. The 
sea continues to rise. While the lesser moon continues to fall. And ilm by ilm, the world becomes ever more unlike itself. It is as Louis Sa Soir foretold. The coming of chaos has rendered the laws of nature mutable, blurring the boundaries between the material and ethereal planes. Little now stands between us and the primals. But they are not here yet. Though time be against us, Hope shall ever be on our side. Never did the creed of Charlien ring more true. Never did I dream that I possess. Never did I dream that I would possess the means to see Aether. Yet now that I do, I do begin to take it for granted. How swiftly do the wonders of Charlien seem commonplace. Um. Here yeah, for you. Have you come for the festivities? Today the maestro officially makes that great hole in the sea its training ground. Join in the celebrations. Wait, a disturbance in the etheric flow? But whence does it emanate? See some grotto perhaps? What have we here? Can you walk? It's I. Regret we know he eluded me. Understood. I will inform the Commodore. You collapsed from your exhaust exertions. Are you suitably recovered? Seven, he surprised me of all that transpired. His account shed some light upon how you came to be attacked by a golem of all things. A golem? A golem is a mindless automaton, inert, safe and commanded to be otherwise. Common pirates could not hope to control such a thing. So are canards workings. But then these tattoos, wet, tattooed wretches are no common pirates. They are the minions of a Sargin. As to their purpose? Well, I shall get to the bottom of it. But first I must escort Zevran back to its place of employment. I dare say Stolwyn will have be wondering what has become of him. And you too, for that matter. I will bear word to him of your preservation, but I am certain he would like to thank you in person. Pray, pray pay the man a visit. Ah, he told me of you, but perchance he did not tell you of me? My name is Ishtola. I am a naturalist of sorts. Surveying the Aether in the hopes that it might offer up some clue as to our predicament. I'd say I owed you my life, but that doesn't cover it. If it weren't for you, my friends would be dead and all. That is a debt I can never repay, but I'm not make things worse by running away. Take me to some of our farms, and I face the consequences. For reasons I cannot fathom, you seem... Uh, Forgive me, mayhap we shall have a chance to speak again when I have marshaled my thoughts. Until our paths next cross, farewell. Yours in all adventure, I've caused more than my fair share of trouble during my time here. Not what I need, that you need telling.
Oh, I knew you'd return. You stole her delivered seven a bit ago. Tales of heroic deeds precede you. The rest came shuffling back too, with a lot of them sporting the same haunted expression. It's me who's to blame for that. And that and the rest. I was once a serpent weaver. A thrall to the Sargin? Seven elves may weavers may look and sound and act like pirates, but they're not naught but a fishback's flunkies. As pirates ain't much for laws. But there's things we won't do. We've got a code, see? But the weavers never followed the word of it. A few years back they started snatching law abiding lominsons. I'd only just take my oven or Captain bend the knee to his new Sargin masters. I knew I had to get away. So I crept off one night, got myself a new name and found myself a new home. Summerford Farms. Trouble is, secrets don't stay secret for long round here, and word soon spread, all the way back to the sea. The penalty for desertion is death, but the weavers offered me a way out instead. My freedom in exchange for my mates. The letter. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't bloody thinking. Too busy sorting myself. Aye, but you got there in the end, didn't you? When the time came, you made the right decision. The men say little to me, but I hear them talk of how you stood up to the weavers at the last. Of how you tried to give your life to save theirs. Be that as it may, no deed, however good, can atone for the crime of betraying your brethren. I knew that. I know that. I do. That's why I'm going to hand myself over to the Yellow Jackets. I'll bring shame to the farm no more. You hear no arguments from me. Each man must sail according to his own moral compass. I just hope yours guides you back here someday. There will always be a place for you at Summerford Farms, lad. And I've always been your debt, Stelvin. I owe you a debt too, Wilt. Not once have you let me down. Thank you for saving ma the man of a farm. If I could ask one more favor I'd of you, it'd be this. Tell Badawan what's happened, from start to finish. I'm certain he'd put in a good word for Severin if he knew the whole story. And he's one of few people I know who the Yellow Jackals will listen to. Well, I reckon I've asked all I possibly can of you. Safe travels, son. Okay, finally back to Badawan. And with news. Bloody hell, it's life on a farm ain't quite how I pictured it. <laughs> but you needn't worry yourself over young Zevrin. Melan Yellow Jacket, as hands out of punishment, is a good mate of mine. If I ask him nice, I reckon he'd be willing to commute the last sentence from hanging to keel holding. Kindly Jan that he is. <laughs> I'm only jesting with you. I see he's treated fair. Now it sounds to me like you've done everything all Stolven asked of you and more, justifying me generous finders fee in the process. Much obliged, lad. As for your reward, uh, well, she's a lonely lady, this drowning wench of mine. How do you fancy keeping her company for a spell? With free room and board. When strings are trying business after all, them as don't rest their bones every now and again tend to end up with broken ones. And take it from me, fighting ain't nearly so much fun when you're nursing a shattered arm. Got that? Good. There's always a free bet for you, so make use of it. In rooms now available. Not that you have much time for lying around. What with all the laves you'll be doing. Oh, didn't I mention? I'm putting your name down for laves. Your gui our guild draws on manner of clients, offering all manner of odd jobs. Honestly, you'd be amazed how much folk pay to avoid doing an honest day's labor. Just give Tim Mockery a shout whenever you feel like making a few extra gil. 
should always have some task or other for you to do. Oh, and it's all above board, in case you're wondering. We are careful to stay on the Admiral's right side here, unlike some pirates I could mention. I tell you, if it ain't, if it's true that they had all to do with the kidnappings, there'll be seven else to pay. A proper bleeding reckoning. Mayhaps that's what Limsa needs, though. In rough seas, sometimes you have to rock the boat to ride it. But we'll have time for such talk when you're well and rested. Till then, enjoy the wench's hospitality. You have no access to recommendations, which is just a list, uh, list of stuff you could do. Honestly, I rarely ever look at it. And when we want to continue, um, we can continue from further on. Uh, that would be next episode because I now go to an in room and go to bed. Good night, until next time everyone.